So last time I showed my first games, this time I'm going to show my early visualizations. Let's start with this random one called Brain. I think it was supposed to mimic some kind of lifelike behavior, similar to particle life, but here particles can reproduce and consume each other. It's kind of an interesting simulation. This one called Pressure is even more similar to particle life. It was probably supposed to simulate atomic nuclei with protons and neutrons, but obviously I didn't know any quantum physics to make it realistic. The Matrix is exactly what it sounds like. I made it to be my screensaver for a short time, not too much else to it. I have no idea what motivated this one or why I made it, but it looks cool. Star Maker was actually made with a purpose. I was trying to make a background for my GeoCities website at the time, and use this tool to make the star pattern. Pretty handy. Here's a three-body gravity simulation. Basically, I could create any number of fixed or moving objects with gravity, and run the simulation to see what the weird orbits look like. I also got into 2D graphing. So here's the zeros of a random equation I'll put on the screen. Here's another graph, this time polar, with a very interesting choice of equation. Okay, this was one of my coolest visuals. It's a logic simulator that lets you place a bunch of logic gates and wire them up to simulate circuits. Here's a 4-bit adder example. I created some custom gates, like this combination and exclusive OR gate, to make them more manageable. I even added delay elements to create clock pulses so I could build things like this binary counter. Super cool project. Okay, so now we'll get into some of my more popular categories. I certainly made a lot of fractals. These ones are really simple. Each object just creates copies of itself and repeats. Of course, who could forget the classic Mandelbrot set? I even tried some other variations like the Budabrot set. L-system curves were another type of fractal I created, like this dragon curve. I even tried making some of my own weird ones. Closely related to the Mandelbrot set is this bifurcation diagram. I made two different animations to visualize it. The update equation looks like this, so it got me thinking. What would happen if I also had an equation for the y value? That's exactly how my chaos equation started. Here's one without color. And here's one that's basically identical to how I did it later on. Another interest of mine was cellular automata, but unfortunately I wasn't able to replicate Conway's game of life because I didn't know how to buffer the board. 
I was updating the cells in the same place as I was reading them. So it created some really cool patterns with different rules and they tended to be more chaotic. I even experimented with cells having different rules and competing. Eventually I was able to figure out the buffering with the game maker language and finally made the classic Conway's game of life. Okay, now let's talk about the third dimension. Game maker was strictly a 2D engine, but I really wanted to try 3D. So I learned the equations to rotate points and made this cube example. Next, I learned perspective projection and drew lines to connect the vertices. What's the next logical step? The fourth dimension, of course. So here I created a hypercube that I could rotate in all four axes. I even tried to visualize it in stereoscopic 3D, but I definitely didn't do it correctly. Using this 3D system, I was also able to make some attractors like this Lorenz attractor. I even made some of my own weird attractor-like things. Now this was really cool, I was almost going to make a separate video on it, but it's a 3D version of the Dragon Fractal. It's created basically the same way as 2D, but the depth at each step is equal to the turning number, meaning the number of right turns minus the number of left turns so far. It creates a very natural 3D shell around the fractal, which I found very satisfying. And finally, I was able to make a 3D grapher that I thought was super cool and actually ran at a decent speed. So I guess that'll be it to wrap up the series. Hopefully these were interesting to you, and thanks so much for watching.